time for a video to show you guys what I'm going to be doing with the periscope and the snorkel. Um, in my hand here I have this uh, the periscope with its housing. Um, the periscope will be sticking out of the top of the conning tower in the down position about a half inch or so so that I have something to grab since uh, I'll have to telescope these manually. I'm going to remove this for now. And this outer housing has a slot milled in it from top to bottom. Uh, the inner brass tube has a set screw right here and inside the uh, inner housing is a solid brass rod with a, uh, that's threaded that the set screw is, is uh, threaded into. And uh, I've got some Loctite on there to keep it in there. Uh, and what happens is in the bottom position the set screw bottoms out here and a half inch of the periscope is sticking out of the conning tower. And then I grab the periscope, pull it in the up position. It uh, tops off at the, the top of the slot and then I rotate it 90 degrees and it's hard to see and I'll have some pictures in the uh, post after this video. Um, it locks down, it drops down about an eighth of an, in, eighth of an inch and locks the periscope in the up position. So in order to uh, uh, put the periscope back down, just lift it up a little bit, rotate it and it, it'll drop down. The snorkel is the same way. There's a uh, Snorkel sits in the tube like this. Don't need that for now. There's a, an inner tube and an outer tube. The outer tube has a slot milled into it also. At the top of it, again, there's a little there's a pin mechanism that sticks out. You, uh, When you want to raise the snorkel and keep it in the up position, you just slide the snorkel all the way up, rotate it 90 degrees, and it'll drop down. And this pin mechanism this pin thing, whatever you want to call it, has a, another purpose as well. If you notice, there's two slots. There's a, a slot, auxiliary slot, milled in from the main slot, which this fits into. And that's about a half inch from the bottom. So you raise this up about a half inch, and this fits into that auxiliary slot, and you can move it up and down. I'll show you later what this is for. If you go back to the main slot, you can see this wide opening here. This also fits in here and it ha there's enough room for it to move back and forth. And there's a purpose for that as well. So um, I'll show you that shortly, uh, what that's all for. So now we have to put this all together and uh, see how it works. You can see this is, uh, I have the two housings mounted in the conning tower. Uh, here's the periscope, here's the snorkel, and uh, these, this is how high they'll sit while they're in the retracted position. Uh, I'm going to take them off for now because they're just sitting in there. And what will happen is the periscope that will slide all the way up to the top and rotate and sit in the up position. It's hard to see in the video but uh, you know there you go. It's uh, in the up position, and we can put this back on. And you can see how high that sticks up. I don't need this for now. Now, you can see right here this darker gray item. There's, it's a slide mechanism. It slides back and forth on a couple of screws. Um, on the front end of it is a magnet. Uh, up here between these two screws, which is hard to see, is a is a uh, is a reed switch. And when this magnet comes uh, about three sixteenths of an inch away from the reed switch, the reed switch will close and create an electrical connection. Down here is a um, push on push off toggle switch. And how what this will do is as you raise the periscope or the snorkel up to the first position you slide it over to that first slot and you could push down and turn the uh, push on push off switch on or off and that will be to turn the uh, sonar motor and the radar motor on and off. Now if you go up a little bit more this arm slides through this plate and 
it engages into that second larger slot that I showed you before. Now the little pin on that arm can come down and engage into a uh, slot in the uh, darker gray uh, uh, styrene and you can slide it forward and backwards. And as you do that, the magnet comes close to the reed switch and closes the contact. Now, also what happens is, if you can see, I'll show you on the other one. On the other half, you can see this barrel-shaped uh, thing here. Uh, there's one of these on each side. And this barrel-shaped thing has, uh, has a slot and a pin on the bottom or a screw that comes out in the bottom. And this engages in the slide mechanism. And what happens here is that slide mechanism goes forward. Let's see if I can show you on this. As that slide mechanism goes forward, the navigation light comes out. And at the same time, that magnet engages or activates the reed switch, and the LED will turn on. So put this away. Now you can see here the arm engaging and moving everything back and forth and that pin on the starboard running light is coming in and out. Now I'll turn this around. See it moving in and out and the LED is in there. And in a few minutes I'll attach the LEDs and then put the conning tower halves together and we'll be able to see the LEDs coming on and off as the as they um, open up from the conning tower. At this point you can see I have the conning tower halves together and I have some wires hooked up over here temporarily. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is with the halves together I'll be able to rotate the uh, snorkel tube and the navigation lights, the port and starboard navigation light will come out from each side. Just a little bit of a slide and that pops out. And here's the other one. Head on. Hard to see. And now, since I only have the port light working, give it a little power, and as that pops out, the LED comes on. And that's all there is to it.